Well, as of lately, I've been talking shit about shitty films. So, basically what happened is I got awarded with a lot of good stuff. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today on Pickups 5, I'm going to show what I, what I got. And basically, first ups first is... Dracula 1979. I've been looking for this film for a long time. And I believe a week ago I found it. And I found it for $5, to believe it or not. And this is a great steal, but there's only one problem. That the DVD doesn't have these special features that it claims, okay? Um, uh, featured commentary and... Um, I guess like the makings of uh, the Dracula and I guess photo gallery, which this DVD does not have, and I'll show you what I mean. I guess they they must have switched it up. Yeah, I did get it at Movie Stop, but whatever. Enough talking about that. Um, the movie, um, basically for me gets I guess a four out of five. It was good. It was good. Alright, so let me move on to the other things, okay. And of course, I cannot believe that I picked this up for $2.99. Hell fucking to the yeah, dog maniac cop. And this is a really good movie. This movie gets a uh, 5 out of 5. Everything was just excellent about it. And I can't believe that this is a fucking steal. See, of course, when you talk shit about fucking 300 Rise of the epic fail and um firestarter 2 resuckiness yeah of course you're gonna get rewarded with good stuff so of course and this was a decent movie it was okay uh mount top motel massacre yeah well, it was a decent time waster but still a, a great steal for $2.99 three dollars so yeah, and of course this is a great steal, just as like uh, Maniac Cop is, and that of course is the fucking nest. Hell to the fucking yeah, dog. This is a great steal for two ninety nine. And of course I'm always getting fucking hooked up with with great movies and shit, you know. And of course, what other movie is gonna have a cockroach cat? in it. This movie gets 5 out of 5, okay? So, yeah. And, of course, another pickup is Daybreakers. And, of course, uh, 199 from CD Trader. Hell to the fucking yeah, dog. Hell to the fucking yeah. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I really did. And it's it's a real good movie. I have to rewatch this again. Basically, because I was falling asleep through the half of it, so yeah. When I watch it, I'll be fully awake because I was watching this late at night on a Saturday. Okay. But yeah. Really good movie, really good pickup. Alright. Haven't seen this movie before, but of course that I picked it up anyways. Ed TV. Yeah, I don't know anything about this movie, but I'm going to go into this with full expectations, of course, that... It's got my um, lovely uh, crush in it, um, Elizabeth Harley. Yeah, Elizabeth Hurley or Harley, however you say her name. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'm just going to go into this with low expectations, and I'm hoping that Elizabeth Harley does not give me a boner while I'm watching it. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on. Of course, that this movie came out in, I believe, 1998 or 9, of course, and that is the 13th floor. Damn, I can't speak straight. The 13th floor, yeah. Um, from what I'm guessing, this is, I guess, like an action sci-fi thriller, I guess. I don't know, but... Yeah, uh, I guess I'll go into it with low expectations. I don't know shit about the movie. Of course, I guess uh, this is the second movie. I don't know if th there was a first movie, but uh, Crawl, or however you say it, The Conqueror, Crawl, the, the Conqueror. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing there's a first movie, which is The Quest. But I'll go into that with low expectations. Uh, Biker Boys. Uh, I got this just because Lawrence Fishburne and many other uh, peoples, I guess. But uh, what, what I could say to that is um, I'm going to go into this movie with low expectations. Just saying though. And of course, the next movie is one that has J.C. Statham, Ray Re Ray Liotta, and Andre Benjamin, also known as Andre Three Thousand. And that, of course, is um this movie. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about this movie, and basically, I'm going to go into it with low, low expectations, okay? Just saying, though, I'm going to go into this with low expectations. And I'm really looking forward to their performances. Okay, so let's see. There's a couple of more movies, and then uh, some CDs, okay? Alright, so Safe House, which I got for $5 at uh, Best Buy. Um, I did want to see this movie in the movie theaters, but too much shit was coming up, so yeah. Basically, I'm going to go into this with low expectations. Okay, next up is Strike Force, and this, of course, has Richard Gere in it. Uh, the premise sound interesting on the back. Um, I can't tell you that because it's going to be spoilers. But all I can say is I'm just hoping that this is a really good cop film. I'm going to go into it with low expectations. I'm not going to go in, in it with too high of expectations. Because usually if I do that, I'm let down. Okay. The Code, which has Morgan Freeman and Antonio Banderas. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go into this with fucking low expectations, basically. How I go into every movie. Because I don't want to go in, in there with too high. Let's just hope that movie's good, though. For real. And, of course, I watched this one. And this one has Jamie Lee Curtis. And that, of course, is Blue Steel. This is a really good uh, thriller movie. If you, if you want to be on the edge of your seat, Go fucking watch this, okay? Even though that it's a movie from the 80s. Go fucking watch this right now. If you could pick it up. But this might be a rare movie, okay? And I thought at one point, I thought Matt talked about it and Mike talked about it. Maybe Efri. I, I can't really remember who talked about this movie, but... I've been looking for it ever since then. So, yeah, um, I'm glad that I found this. This is, yet again, a steal just like Dracula and Maniac Cop in the Nest. So, th this is a great steal, seriously. For $1.99, that's a fucking great steal. I'm just saying, though. And, of course, the next movie is, of course, it has Ice Cube and Give Me a Boner, Elizabeth Harley, or Hurley. I can never say her last name right, but of course that is uh, Dangerous Grounds, okay? So, yeah. Um, basically, um, so far I watched half of it. Half of it was okay. From what I could see, this is an okay movie, but I really liked the Ice Cube in this. Or right, even though that he's not given that much, but still, I, I would say pick up the movie anyway. And we got two more films, and of course, that is Dead Heat, and that has uh, Treat Williams and Joe uh, Picasso. P Damn, I can't say his last name. It's kind of hard to pronounce, but whatever, you get the point. Um, this is overall a really good um, movie, and I'm glad I found this, because this is rare as shit. And basically, I paid five dollars for it at Fye. Fucking awesome, dude! I can't believe that I have this in my collection. And I think I saw um, Emer reviewing this movie or Helsing Nine Twenty reviewing this movie on Reaction and Review. 
So that's what even made me want the film more. But I'm I'm glad I, I finally have it. And it could be in my fucking collection now. Just saying, though. But, yeah. And, of course, one, one more um, pack. But that is a two-movie pack. And that, of course, is... Um, Once Bitten and Vampire Kiss. Now... Once Bitten has Jim Carrey and Vampire Kiss has Nicolas Cage, but I'm just gonna have to say this is a fucking great steal for five dollars at Win Dixie. Damn, for real, this is a great fucking deal. Although the discs are a little bit banged up, so I'm gonna have to clean them up a little bit. Maybe it smudges, so like I could uh, basically put them in, or basically put whatever on them and clean them but uh yeah um these are gonna be good watches and i know they are i've seen this movie before i remember watching this movie but i don't think i ever seen this movie so yeah i'm gonna go into that movie below expectation and of course not last but least all of these okay and i'm gonna go in order all right yeah, those movies was out of order, and basically, uh, I broke that order, but let's just get into it, alright? So, Nari, God's Favorite, I think I believe that this was his first album, but anyways, this was a good pickup for two ninety nine, and it's a, it's a great way to really um, pick up old retro rap, basically, that I really enjoy and love. Okay, um, Capone and, uh, Noriager, yeah. Um, there's not much to say about this CD, but, um, it's okay from what I heard, half of it, it's alright. You know, it's decent, but hey, at least it beats fucking Soldier Boy, and it fucking beats, uh, Lil Wayne, and fucking Nicki Minaj, and all that shit the, that's out right now, I'm just saying though. It beats all that, but still, um, decent listen. Also, that um, Nari was a good listen, and of course, I had to pick this up just because one of my favorite songs is "Laffy Taffy," and that, of course, is D4L. I would say, um, th this uh, track is really fucking good. This album was really fucking good. All right. And still for 2.99, that is fucking awesome and, and that's a great steal. And better than anything that comes out right now, basically. And of course, still the same price I picked it up for, but hey, you know, it's fucking awesome. Freeway free at last. Um this is kind of a good album and a mediocre album at the same time. Like, there's a couple of good songs on here, and also that there's a couple of okay songs here, but still, this was a really good deal that I got on it. Okay. And, of course, uh, Dilated Peoples, Neighborhood Watch. Yeah, um, this is an okay album. I'll, I'll admit that much, but... It was an okay listen, basically. Okay. And, of course, Time is Money, Styles P. And I heard a little bit of the album so far. I only heard a little bit, but so far, from what I've heard, I'm liking it. Okay, I'm liking it a lot better than anything now. Just saying, though. And, of course, the last album I got is Mims. Okay, and... From what I heard, this is a really good album. Okay, so yeah. I got great fucking deals. Just for talking shit about fucking 300 Rise of an Epic Fail. And basically talking shit about Firestarter 2 resuckiness. So yeah, that's what I get awarded with when I talk shit about Two movies that I really fucking hate. <laughs> I always get awarded for some odd reason when I talk shit about, about shitty films. <laughs> but yeah, 
It just shows. Just talk about shitty films on camera, and then you'll get awarded with some good or decent movies and some good or decent music. <laughs> Hell to the fucking yeah, dog, for real. For rizzles, yo. <laughs> Yeah, well anyways guys, um, I got a lot of stuff to do, so yeah, I am out. Peace.